All right, so this is something I've been looking at doing for quite a while, and that is long-range ballistics gel testing. Now, why would I want to do long-range ballistics gel testing? So there's a couple of reasons. So first off, this has been recommended to me by numerous people. One, my friend Matt uh, recommended this a while back, and since he had recommended it, I've actually been kind of looking into it uh, quite a bit, trying to figure out what I needed, how I, how I wanted to go about it. And I think I figured out a good way where we can do a full series uh, just doing ballistics gel tests of all sorts of different cartridges, calibers, distances, um, so we can really figure out what's what, what bullets actually perform at distance, do match bullets outperform hunting bullets at distance, all the different questions that I see thrown around, all the different things that I see different people having different answers to. With all those different things, I see it in my comment section, whether it's on a Facebook post or on a forum somewhere. There are so many different people <clears throat> with so much different information um, that contradict one another. I wanted to see if we could put it all into one place and see what actually performs at distance. Now, this is not me uh, giving my... Uh, this is not me okaying uh, long-range hunting. I think, and I've said this before in the past, I think long-range hunting is okay if it is somebody who is completely comfortable uh, with their abilities at distance and knows that the shot they're taking is going to land where they want it to um, and is going to have enough energy for a, an ethical, clean, humane kill, then in those conditions, I am all for long range hunting. But what is that condition? What is that distance? So that's what we're going to figure out in these videos. So uh, I wanted to start out with a bullet that I have a lot of experience with and a bullet that I have actually shot a deer with at a longer distance. So uh, many years ago, probably four or five years ago, I shot a, it was almost a, it was a 12 point buck, a little non-typical not really an impressive size rack but it did have a lot of a lot of points and it was a decent buck um, and i shot him with a 108 eld at just under 400 yards and the the buck dropped in his tracks hit the ground right where i shot him so uh seeing how well that performed i'd always had it in my head i bet i could have i bet i had enough energy in that 108 eld to take that take that buck at twice the distance so what better way to start off this series than to test this theory that I've had in my head for quite some time, and that is a 108 ELD at 800 yards. Uh, so this is the exact same load that I have here worked up. It is the exact same load that I shot that deer with. So we're running H4831 powder, 3117 per feet per second at the muzzle. This thing shoots just as good in that in this new barrel as it did in the last barrel that I've had this load worked up in. So uh, you will see it had no problem hitting the six by six inch gel block at 800 yards. So that's what we're testing today. 800 yards, six millimeter Creedmoor, 108 ELD, 3117 feet per second. So let's see what it does to the gel. We'll come back, we'll talk about the amount of energy that it had when it got to the target, what the velocity was. And uh, is this enough to put down that deer that I thought it would have four or five years ago? So here it is. Put everything in there. That was in it, wasn't it? Yep. That was in the gel? Positive. Yeah. I saw it jiggle. Well, that worked out. I think that went right above it. Yeah, it was just right above it.
I'm pretty sure that was a solid center mass hit on it. Awesome. Awesome. I'm excited to go see what it looks like. All right, so two impacts just like we called. So, nice big wound cavities. You can see both red tips came off at the exact same depth. So we will go home. I'll measure this, tell you exactly the size of the wound cavity, depth. So they went through two full blocks you can see that it was actually tumbling by the time it went into this second block you can see how the uh, you get the full oblong shape of the bullet there and it went straight on out and we're gonna look and see if we can't find the bullet that that veered down this way because it looks like it went through the box Is it there? Yeah. Oh, right. uh -huh, there it is. Nice. All right, so no mushrooming, no deformation. It just tumbled, made a nice wound cavity. So that's the, these are the ELD match bullets. So that's, that's awesome. All right, so we were able to find it. All right, go home and measure up these wound cavities and we'll talk more about it. All right, so pretty happy with how all this turned out. Um, for my first gel test, uh, everything seemed to have went pretty well. There was some pr surprising things about this and things that I didn't expect to happen. So first off, uh, you saw we shot this gel block 800 yards, two shots with the 108 ELD. I did recover one of the 108 ELDs, um, as you guys saw. Um, and what what was what I really was happy about was seeing this is that both of them performed almost identically. Um, so they both entered the gel block uh, starting at somewhere around five inches. They've started to tumble. Both of them open up at the exact same spot. So because the shots ended up so close together, um, both of them. Here is your entrance side here. They both opened up at about five and a half maybe five to five and a half inches started to rotate. Um, they never, one of the things that I was really surprised about, and this is what really shocked me, is the bullet never came apart. So the Hornady ELDs are known for having a pretty thin jacket, so I really expected uh, going through this full block of ballistics gel uh, that it would come apart. So when the bullet got to the gel, um, so with the 3,117 feet per second muzzle velocity uh, at the gel, the muzzle velo or the velocity at 800 yards should have been 1,771.7 feet per second at 800 yards, so <clears throat> when it entered the gel. Um, the energy on target, it should have had 752.7 foot-pounds of energy remaining <clears throat> in this 108 ELD at target. So that's not a whole lot of energy. Um, so you guys will see, as you guys saw, um, it actually did dump quite a bit of energy uh, for traveling that full 800 yards. I was pretty impressed uh, measuring the the largest spot. Both wound cavities were right at two inches. So if you measure both these wound cavities at their widest spot, which was at the exact same place in the gel, it was two inches. One of the other things that I found pretty interesting is both these red tips, uh, the red tips of both shots broke off at the exact same point. So at just just under that eight inch mark, both of them shed their red tip. And I think that's probably about the point, that's also at the point where it's at, at its widest point in the gel. Um, so I'm thinking what happened is as it made that full rotation over the top, the tips broke off from both of them. So they performed exactly the same. The only thing that these did differently is one of them, the first one entered the gel block went halfway through, dumped all of its energy right in the middle of the block, right at the halfway point, so really nice. Um, would be exactly what I want for like a heart shot on a deer or something. Um, 
rotated one full foot one full rotation and then shot up out of the top of the edge of the block and I noticed in the video if you'll see it in the slow-mo you'll see the bullet actually kind of fly out of the side of the block the second shot did the exact same thing came in the block made one full rotation and then instead of skipping up it just nosedived um, as it was still rotating leaving the block um, and you'll see it has a the bullet left the block the second bullet left the block sideways entered the second block and just immediately nosedive down and that's the one that you guys saw us find so <clears throat> really happy with that it retained almost all of its weight i think the only thing that it really shed was the red tip there but uh really happy with how all this turned out we will be doing a lot more long range ballistics gel tests so uh be on the lookout for that i plan to do quite a few more of these if there's any cartridges um no matter what caliber cartridge, whatever it is, if there's anything that you guys would like to see tested, um, give me a reason why you think that would be a good test. And if I think it's something that I would be interested in pursuing, we may do that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Be looking, for, look, be looking forward to more long-range ballistics gel tests. So, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.